So beginneth we another adventure, Andrew. So beginneth we begin another salt and sanctuary. No, first salt and sanctuary. Hey guys, welcome to the first salt and sanctuary. <laughs> Ever. Ever. What? What? Huh? So I've never played this game. Keith has played it like 20 years ago. Do you know anything um, about this game? Um, I know it's made by Scott Studios. That was... Yeah, we, that, it told us that. That's, that's, all, I, that's all I know about <laughs> it this game. definitely told us that. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what it is, where all it came from. All you know is that it's a Souls-like. Yeah. Cause that you, comes up in that context. I mean, you've told me that. Yeah. People have told me to play Salt and Sanctuary, and I was like, I, whatever that means. Well, we're going to try to play co-op, which I've never seen done. I'm sure it exists. I haven't looked for it, but I have not encountered what it is necessarily yet. So we're going to give that Very a go. Very reminiscent art style. Are you going to go to Knackleson of Knackle for your well, name? I don't want to get up and type my name. I, <laughs> I did. Unkempt? You can, you get, your hair is in there, actually. Bottom center. Oh. Bottom center. You're not there. Huh? This one? Yeah. Yeah, that is... That's just... I actually made my character look like me. Oh, did you? Not that I'd be able to probably see that past all the equipment anyway. But I was just amused that, like, both of our hairstyles are just there. Because I'm... I'm... I'm the... I'm down and to the right from the top left. Eh. I'll keep that. Whiskers. Well, that <laughs> looks more like me. <laughs> I got some pretty good whiskers look how, here. Look how amazing some of the options are. <laughs> I, I love that one. That's on your great. on your no nose character. They have a really oddly distinct art style. Yeah. Across their company. And by across their company, I mean they're two people. Is it just two people? It was it used to be one person. That's scary. I think it became two people for this game. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're picking what country you're from, which determines what your skin color looks like, apparently. <laughs> from, the, from the gigolo country? Like, what is the this? juggalo? Juggalo country? Juggalo country? Whatever. It's how they... What? Yep, Iskar? The lizard people. It's basically how they handled race in, uh, in Dark Souls also. You just pick a region you're from, supposedly, when you're making your character. Oh, oh okay. You know, Satan country, where yeah. the Satans are. <laughs> Everyone's a Satan over there. I kind of like that country. <laughs> I like that uh, face. A lot of these look the same. Yeah. I'll just pick that because it looks unique. <laughs> uh, it's just a nightmare monstrosity. Oh, what, what do I want to be? Uh, oh, clearly a chef is uh, <laughs> the go-to. It might not be the worst idea to have a shield. Might even be able to learn magic or something like the paladin. I'm going to be fucking Paladin. Maybe. Man. Yeah, Paladin sounds awesome. Or the Cleric. Cleric? I don't know if they have a shield or not, but I think, they, they, just, I think the Cleric oh, starts with spells. Yeah, Cleric has a shield. Yeah, there's a little star. That means that it probably has some kind of spell from the get-go. I'll take Paladin. I like to preach about religions to people. While looking like Satan? Yeah. Oh. So you, want, you want the Cell Sword. Unless you want to wait for way longer to summon me. Yeah, I'll take the Cell Sword. Well, then I will venture forth. That character looked a lot like you until it suddenly diverged. <laughs> yeah, well, this world has known war for centuries, Keith. But peace is finally preciously near. Nah, brah. We deliver the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all. Failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. Well, I'm glad we're going to do this mission. I'm glad this is happening at the beginning of a video game where nothing bad ever happens. Yeah. Wow. Feels good. Yeah. Oh. Keep head scroller. Yeah, oh. keep, it, keep an eye on that stamina. Oh, stamina? Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. It's a, it's a soul's like. Oh, you there, stranger. We've been boarded in the night. They're, they're one to kidnap the lady, Ransomer. Her, oh, oh, well. There goes that, that line of dialogue. <laughs> okay. Well, I learned that. They have a giant, evil, angry hammer, so that's fun. And you found that. There was nothing there. <laughs> Hooray! Boom! Execution, motherfucker! Oh, oh yeah, shit. Dead. How do you block? <laughs> uh, left trigger? I think? Yeah. I played this whole- I've played this game twice now, and I've never had a shield. <laughs> oh, really? So, so I had to guess. Oh. Oh, right, You're stamina. You're like crazy, yep. 
Ow, what the fuck? You're really nailing it right now. Oh, cool. <laughs> air moves. Yeah, air spam? Y yep, you've got that air game like in a uh, dishwasher. In Charlie Murder. What are these pots for? Breaking, apparently. The unspeakable deep. Who? What? I can't see it. Oh, now I can see it. it no, wait. Oh, oh it's Cthulhu. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a Cthulhu. I'm sure you got this. What does RB do? And I'm dead. I'm assuming that's supposed to happen. So, <laughs> failing this mission would surely plunge us into darker days. I awoke to the sounds of waves washing on rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. Dun, save the dun. cheerleader, save the world. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> well, I'm back. Yeah, congrats. And you can see better because it's like light out, kind of. Shivering shore. You're on the shivering shore. Hi, this dude. This guy seems nice. Where the hell are there? Yeah, there's a fleshy bit of flotsam. Watch the shore like the rest of us. <laughs> you want shelter, you want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? There's an empty sanctuary up the beach. You can claim it for your creed. You gotta bring back sarcastic old man. You gotta say sanctuary sarcastically. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me, do you uh, do you keep the new gods? <laughs> uh, the new gods? I, that's a He's lot. He's asking what faction you're in, that's but a, also you have no context for any of this, so it just kind to, of blindsides you. It's a lot to ask me in the beginning. I don't. Yep. Are you gonna be a member of the current religion or a pagan religion? Oh well, pa pagan all the way. You don't keep the new gods. Rare. Uh, so are you a pilgrim of Devaria? Uh, your sword has been dying out for centuries, I'm afraid. Uh, what? There are more. He'll keep asking if you're, if you're a member of different factions until you say yes to one of them. Oh, okay. He might eventually just run out and then, you, then you're then you screwed. Or I might just give you the list again. I don't remember what so happens. So, Devaria. Devara. Devara. Is dying out. I don't want to be a part so that's of the, dying. That's one. like the second most recent religion, basically. Oh, the one that's being replaced. But then there's more older ones. No, I don't want that one. No. Do you hold no gods at all? You're either brave, foolish, or from the north. <laughs> you don't look particularly brave, but you don't seem particularly foolish either. Are you a mountain smith? A, 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 excuse me, a mountain smith? I don't make mountains. No. I think this one's like Starks, kind of. Oh, well then yes. <laughs> Men from the mountains of the northern continent of Markdor are iron ones. That's racist. Maybe we just eat a lot of good food. <laughs> they believe in no gods, believing instead in the iron wheel of man. They love steel, but hate magic. Are you a member of the iron ones then? Sure, I like, I hate God, and <laughs> I, I like people that don't like God. Yes. You're a member of the Iron Ones, eh? No God will help you here. Okay. I feel like he would have said that regardless. <laughs> yeah, probably. Except, oh. Except there's metal icon then. Do you just have that on your He just wait, has like you... an, an, a medallion of each God. Okay, well I can't kill him and take all the medallions. Wait, what was that? Well, I already unlocked you the achievement for the three. Uh, because I joined the three. Left trigger shield offhand. Okay. So it's your shield or your offhand weapon. I, you can see them on the floor. There you go. While blocking so parry. parry is the... Ah, that's what I was looking for before. Yeah, ah, there you go. Okay. So you ran past the ball. Oh, no. Get away from my chest. Uh, get away from my you, chest. You actually ran past the bottle. Oh, okay. <gasps> you're right. Rolling. Roll. Oh, that's important too. Yeah. Oof, you're heavy. My character doesn't do that. Oh, the, the, the entire screen shakes because you're so heavy. Sanctuary key. My sanctuary. My sanctuary. Switch loadouts. What? Did you just go Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Mace, mace or mace shield. Mace, mace, mace shield. Two handing generally means more damage. Switch items. D-pad. Okay. Use equipped item. Right bumper? Oh, okay. View inventory. Look at that. I have stuff. You have stuff. Except well, I don't have numbers. I don't have the thing. What are you looking for? 
thing, my gift? The medal, the metal thing? No, the shell sword. Um, you, what the fuck's my shell sword? Shell, she swords, shell swords by the sea. Sh <laughs> well, yeah, what uh, is my thing? I don't think it's, uh, let's see. Is the gift given to me later? Uh, try clicking on an empty slot. On the bag icons. It might show up there. No, go back. Okay, so go back. Uh, go up. No, go, uh, scroll to the top of the screen. And click on, like, your inventory. And then you can go through tabs here. There it is. Oh. It's in that icon. Oh. So it's just, I don't think you can use it as a... I'm not sure if it, if it gets equipped as a normal item, like a consumable. You use Sanctuary Key. Oh yeah, I have that. Uh oh. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is very dark in here. Uh, can you turn the brightness up? I'm gonna yes, start hitting can. things until I can turn the brightness up. You can. In the game I can? No, like right here. Oh. Just put it there? Oh! Hi. Well, no. Let's check out this empty room. All right. Wait, not... is this Game of Thrones? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said when I said that my, when my comparison to Starks was based on that. Uh oh. <laughs> I was like, look at that crazy ass knives. Well, can I? Level... I guess that's actually not the Starks, but whatever. Oh, you need more just salt to ascend. You need more salt. Tree of can... skill. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. Every time you level up, you get an ability orb you can spend here. Oh. Yeah. Look at this nightmare. Feel free to explore I hate a bit. Trees. <laughs> So, important thing to notice, see that flask? Which left? Fla this one? It's a poultice pouch, an additional healing potion. Ah. So that's your Estus shards, your bonus Estuses. So they, they stand out as being that. So every icon, the icons are relatively easy to distinguish what they mean, because each symbol is a different thing, and they repeat a lot. Okay. So if you look at the two golden ones, those are ones you already have so far. That's where you're starting on this tree. Because it, it, it works like... Uh, Zerker and... It works exactly like Final Fantasy X and Path of Exile, where every class starts at a different point on the tree. Ah, uh, okay. But they all have the same tree. Oh! So here's where you are. You have class 1 heavy armor, and you have class 1 maces, I think. Okay, Hammers so, and axes. So I can go next to the pouch. So, yeah, so you can and use then... level 1 heavy armor and level 1 hammers and axes. If you find better hammers, axes, and heavy armor and you want to use those, you have to get the higher level version class of those two skills. heavy armor. Yeah. And then, and then, two and then along the way, everything gives you points. And in, in fact, the things that give you heavy armor and maces and stuff also give you stats. Oh, they give you two endurance. points of endurance. Oh, that's nice. And the points along the way there will also give you stats, like scroll down one to the chain thing. That gives you more strength, oh. and, it'll, and it'll clear the path Endurance. to you being able to get the other thing. Ah, okay. Interesting. So there's just a bunch of different things you can get there. Oh, I'm gonna make an offering. Make an offering. Of this. Uh, oh. Oh, you used it already. <laughs> well, uh, hi there. Sup. It's you. Well, that's, that's not me. That's you. Wait, that's not you? No, I don't have a beard. Oh, that's just the uh, that's just the NP that's the merchant. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, looking for companionship. Hire, shop, leave. Uh, sells egg. the egg of wrath. Egg of wrath. That's the <laughs> PVP item. A common egg blessed for ceremonial use. No one knows quite when or how it started, but the egg of wrath has played a role in nearly the vast majority of armed conflicts for centuries. <laughs> well, no thanks. I don't want to waste my money on the thing I'm not gonna use. You could gossip. Oh, you I wanna, could gossip. You gossip. It's dangerous out there. Maybe you shouldn't go alone. Take this. Uh, well, I just used my offering. Where are you at? Higher. What's up? Oh. Ah. Hi. All right. Well. That, oh. This is nice, isn't it? That's a cool system, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we uh, could, so we, can, we each get half the screen, so we can we can access. Unlike Diablo three, those fucks, we can access careful. we can access the stuff at the same time. So you can open your tree and I open my tree, and we can uh, both be in here at the same time. And I got a hearty roll. We don't have to like politely wait for each other. Like yeah. We, in, in Diablo three, we're like we're, like local local multiplayer in Diablo three is so goddamn fun with four people until the moment you get back to town and you're like time to ac take turns accessing our inventory items for yeah. half an hour. So I'm over here, I start off with uh, class 1 hunter, which is whips. And then and over here I've got uh, class 1 crossbows and pistols. So you're just... What, you're just what's so I have face? whips, which is what I did for my entire first playthrough. I don't really plan on specializing that as, in, as much, but it is useful as a back 
a back row like help helpful assistant character because it's a long range melee weapon. Do you think this is Castlevania? Yeah, it's a it's a long range it's a long range melee weapon, but also it comes with uh, I also get crossbows and pistols, That's so, I, nice. so I have a lot of long range attacks. Yeah, I forgot. Can you zoom out in this? No. I don't think you can. <laughs> Because I think if you zoom out, you can kind of get a sense of the scale. But this tree is fucking Oh, my big. God. It yeah. It keeps going up. Yep. Oh, what's that? Class 5 pikeman. I don't care. Sword oh, fighter. Oh, I like class 5 sword fighter. And like this, the, the, and these things over here will give you energy potions. They're for magic. Oh, okay. And so the and uh, so you'll find more energy potion type upgrades oh God. closer to where the actual spell casting is for that stuff. It does go on forever. As wow, you, wow. Okay, yeah. that's a lot of energy. These are the different starting points for different characters. You were right here, right? Uh, yeah, I was right there. Oh wait, you're like right here. Yeah, I'm right. Here. <laughs> we're right next to each other because yeah. we're both melee characters, kind of. Neither of us picked a spellcaster, so we kind of start off in the same chunk of the tree. It's oh, not man. it's not nearly as massive as Path of Exile was, but it's not a small thing. So I'm just going to get oh, there every... We go. Oh. X, uh, in the top corner it says X to zoom. Oh, that looked so like that, a can opener. Yeah, so that's how big the whole thing is, is just that area. Yeah, so I'm just going to go for everything. Um, Just 100% the tree. That's an achievement, right? Uh, That'll take a few playthroughs. <laughs> that's fine. I would I would recommend, like, strength and health, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ka! Ah! Don't do that, it freaked me out. Yeah. I like that we have icons to help us find each other on the screen. What are the, can, good luck, good, friend. Good luck, friend. So much fun is hunted. So like Dark Souls, we have com there are community messages. X man, welcome to dead. You finished the tutorial? So what? So, yeah, you, you finished the tutorial, so now there's community messages. X men welcome to dead? Oh, it's a reference to yeah. Magneto, yeah. X men welcome to die. Ah. Wait, I thought random. I blocked it. Uh, I took the hit. Oh, I, you did? I'm hurt. You're not hurt. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a shield. Look at all these dead people. Get on out from there. Get on. So, th so those are other people's characters. Oh, are they? They change every time you come back here. That's funny. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. The festering banquet. I have a hearty roll. No. No. Stop eating. Oh, I ran past the guy. You got your wish finally, Andrew, which is that the attack is square. Ow. I mean X. It is. Thank Whoa, you we both, oh, we both got that. Interesting. No. You see no. that? I picked up a red shard and we both got it, it looked like. <laughs> whip that guy right in the face. Flying whip attacks. That was rude. <laughs> You're rude. Well. Well, There's someone's locked. entire library gone. That is locked. Wait, what are these? Why are these breaking? Uh, that guy shot an arrow. Oh. Are you guys okay? <laughs> are you guys okay? Well, like, can I get you a band-aid? Well, like, they just weren't moving. I felt kind of bad about it. <laughs> eh. Well, what if I eh? Hold yeah. your shield over your head like in Lost Vikings. <laughs> Apparently, I cannot. Oh, oh you can grab. <laughs> if on you ledges. could do that, that'd be incredible. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh, they're, it's they're. very hard to see some of these people. Yeah, it encourages you to move slowly and keep your eye out for all the different details. Oh, now oh, we share it. That's nice. That's more red shards. Is that like good? That's one way to check. I believe that's our healing item. Uh. A vial of incandescent yep. Restore red. some hit points. Oh, okay. So the red vials are healing item. You might want to scroll to that instead of the thing that lets you join factions. Well, I could also do light vessel. You, you might want to look up what it is. Oh, yeah. What is a light vessel? Oh, I fell. That's what, interesting. What is... Uh, look at this. Inventory? When you're paused, you don't have a camera control. It's all mine now. Because <laughs> I'm the one that has to play now. A uh, sealed play vessel <laughs> of light water. You can just leave. <laughs> and the camera's following me the whole way instead of you. That's really interesting. That's, oh. that's intelligently designed because you're not using the camera right now anyway. It well, you, has, you kind of are if someone sneaks up on you. It has some kind of person inside of it. I should probably it. keep an eye on you. There's apparently like five people inside of it. You didn't... You, did you not read what it actually does? Did you just stop at the lore reasons or something? Oh, is there more? <laughs> Items uh, do things in these games. Why? It didn't... So whenever you find salt, it, that's how we get salt. <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. Oh, well, since the sealed clay vessel of, uh, of light water, the bane of all things, wicked and undead light water is said to hold the spirit of Devra and with it her limitless spite for evil. Doesn't say what it does. Huh. That's what I was saying, like, I don't know what I the I think it might be a holy water bomb. Oh, okay. Oh, well, For right. context to people, I haven't played this game for like a year and a half. 
Look at that. It's me. That's the I'm too far away from the camera icon. Hey, get back here. Let's see. I'll drop down. I like that. So you kind of see me down there. I really like that. So you have you have complete camera control in this yeah, game. Yeah, but I like that I can keep track of you. And I can say, like, keep... Yeah, you can find far. out where I fell off to. Oh. Look at that monster. Oh, that's, like, actually a monster. Yeah, careful. Oh, here comes shots. Don't you have shots? Yeah. <laughs> this thing can't get out of the box. Oh. Oh, shit. I was trying to parry oh. it. That's not good. <laughs> Stop dying. Stop doing whatever you're doing. I thought I was just trying to parry it, but it did not go as swimming. You're trying to parry a giant monster? Yeah. Huh. It's gonna just... I would... I mean, I didn't... I haven't experimented with a parry. Don't know how it works. I just would generally uh, no, assume no, it I works just... on enemies that use weapons. <laughs> Maybe. That's usually what the word parry oh, means, but who knows. Oh. Uh, oh. I oh. goofed it. I'm coming for you. <laughs> ah. Ah. Giving people poison. Get, get out of here. Scary. Ah, oh, God, get out of here. God damn. So I did. I did read one thing about the co-op in this game. Yeah. Which is that apparently uh, the game has game-breaking glitches in it, where if you're playing co-op, uh, you permanently lose the ability to progress to the game. What? That the co-op partner does. What do you mean? There's an issue where if you find various keys to open doors and stuff like that, it then counts as being found by that co-op partner, so it doesn't spawn for them <laughs> in their in their single player game. Oh, in their single player game. Yeah, so okay. like my so like apparently if you play co-op, your co the companion guy is like fucked in his game. Weird they didn't update like a that. a weird issue. It's such a niche feature cuz it's local only in this game. You're a little hurt. I am a little hurt. I'm also a little hurt. I am less hurt now. Um, excuse me? Are you? <laughs> I can't really tell. I am gradually less hurt. So this is not the good healing item. What so bread is? For me, it's the hardy. Yeah, it's the hardy roll. Oh, it's for the hardy roll for both of us. Yeah, because you're part of my religion. Right, yeah, because it's yours. You guys eat bread, apparently. Delicious. That's That's why I didn't recognize it. I've never seen it before because I've never used this faction before. I'm like... Bread? Where'd I get bread from? Whatever. Okay, so yeah, the red shard is slow healing, and the... The red shard is slow healing that you have to get as a manual item, and the hardy roll is your Estus Flask. Ah. So it's a faster heal, but you only have a specific amount of them, and you only get them back so, by going back to the shrine. So that's what I should be using on bosses. Yeah, or yeah, emergency situations. I had to remind myself what the hell is going on there. Yeah, it confuses me because they don't have the iconic Estus Flask and that there isn't like a, a singular healing item for everyone. It's faction based. So I didn't recognize the hardy roll at all. Nope, nope. I don't want it. Oh, there's two of you. Where did you come from? Now there's none of you. Huzzah. We got the bandaged ring. Hey, what is that? Who bandages a ring? Wait, there's a bandaged ring? Yep. You I got plenty of fingers. You can wear four rings in this a game. A ring of powerful healing. It's where it may suffer injury, but lasting wounds will be made less severe. Reduces the wounding effect. I don't know. That sounds awful. No, it's good. Uh, you're actually wounded already. So what happens when you, when you take heavy damage, your maximum health gets lower. Oh. So you can't heal. Unless oh. you do something that heals wounds or something. So you can see your maximum health is reduced. That's why there's a little bar in it now. Yeah. So you can't get the rest of it back. Scary. Until you go to a shrine or something, or maybe other effects that might heal it that I don't remember. Oh. So wait, wait, how did- I think I come with you when you open doors. Oh. That's not concerning at all. Let's see what happens when I go through doors. Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't use doors. Well, thanks for trying. Now we know. Wait, I wanna- oh, there's people here. Now there's not. Isn't uh, that nice? I wanna try using the- no. No. What are you trying to do? Use that door down below. Thought I could jump through the staircase. There's a ladder. Well, yeah, but how do you get there? Oh. 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 I'm just running into this space that's cl that's clearly not a. I guess. Oh. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here. <laughs> oh, I can just aim in the air. That's interesting. Well, that was a good co-op teamwork. <laughs> I'm mostly hid. <laughs> I'm a good friend. Yeah, but you distracted him. Yeah, he kept, he kept jumping at me. There we go. This is interesting. 
I was wondering how this would work just in general. It seems fun. It's, just, um, it's a learning experience oh. for a game I've beaten twice already. Well, this plane is really dark. It's a, yep. Okay, I guess I'll light it. Oh! It's a mini shrine. Oh, is it? Yeah. So the way oh, these, I got more hardy rolls. So the way these work or I is that they, my hardy rolls. So these work as a bonfire in that you could they you'll respawn here if you die here and they can heal your healing items and everything. They also reset enemies. But no yeah, that too. But no other feature works here. Oh, you can't like level up and stuff. You can't level up. There's no NPCs. It's just a micro version. Huh. Weird. So like that big place we went to is like our is like one of our firelink shrine type places and that and that's just like a random bonfire. Oh, where it's just a bonfire. Oh, we got that makes more sense in the context of the other Dark Souls games, because uh, in later Dark Souls games, you actually have to go back to your main base to level up. You can't just do it at every at every bonfire like you did in the first one. Try to fall. Warning, villain scary up. Well, you can't tell me how to live my life. Blood creature. By the way, this is a mechanic people had to explain to me. See this this candelabra here? Yeah. That's the difficulty rating of the next thing you're walking into. What? Yeah. Is it really? The, the, something about the candles being lit is based on it's it, it's a reflective of like what percentage of players die in the next area. Oh shit! The sodden knight. Ew. He does sodomy. Ew. That's not the knight of Saddam or Sodom. Maybe he is. Oh shit! That's a lot. Sup? Out. Oh damn! He got you good. He got me good. What are you? He's trying to shoot. He's kind of swinging at me. <laughs> yep. I took that for you. You no, blocked it? Yeah. I didn't know you could block that. I could block whatever I want. I can't block that. Demonstrably not true. <laughs> I'm going to eat this hearty roll. Ha. Oh, shit. Forgot about that. I can shoot in midair. That's amazing. Damn. Okay. I'm bad at aiming, though. Ow. Woohoo! Oh, he's almost dead. Yeah, he's almost there. Oh, Jesus. Wow, he really doesn't like you. For some he reason. doesn't. He seems fixated, honestly. Oh, he, might, he might be able to arrows sticking out of him. Maybe. He's probably not fond of those. Oh, we did it. Yeah, co-op boss fight. Vanquished. The banquet. The ba- the ba- the ba- The banquet? The banquet? The banquet? So Alright, well, we got his ashes, which is the equivalent of boss souls. We're big, on, we're big on collecting ashes for some reason. And I think we got a key or something, right? E maybe. So now we can go open a door somewhere, but more importantly, we can go back to the place to level up. The place. Home. Are you trying to jump off here? Uh, they, they said to level. They said, they said to jump. I was trying to aim down. You can kind of point the camera down yeah, a little looking. bit. Yeah, I don't know how good of an idea it is. <laughs> I don't... Oh, look over there. There's platforms. Whoop. Why not? Oh, God. I mean, there's a few reasons why not. Huh. Oof. <laughs> that impact noise oh. is not a happy one. Well, we made it. What an unhappy sound, right? Get that money. Don't why, you why like did I money. Why did I just heal? I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was so high on health, and I'm like, I'm going to heal now. Oh, hi. We haven't been here already, have we? Yeah, or, we have. Oh, we have. Yeah, we have. Yep. I'm just yeah. going this way because... It... Oh, well. Woo! Well, I just jumped off, so... Ow. We haven't been here yet, though. No, we haven't. It's the stone cleric. Now you can summon a cleric at your base. Seems Gross. nice. Very and nice. a stone merchant. Look at all those stone items you're getting. I they think this is the that. first room. Yeah. Wait, is it? Ow. Yes, Ow. It is. Stop. The you first big room we went into, which, ah, which right. feels like a Castlevania reference because it has infinitely respawning zombies in it. I don't want to be shot but at. But I might be biased as a whip character oh. to, to look for uh, Castlevania references. Oh, god damn it. There's another one. Yep. They're nasty. Oh, They're not those bodies are gone. We've set their cells free. <laughs> Did we? I uh -huh. <laughs> Just spamming the oh, rolls like money. a jackass. Was there a... Is there what? I just, I just noticed that there was a uh, gravestone. Yeah, what is that gravestone? Well, that guy... Well, wait. Wait, the gone. gravestone went away. Woo! Oh, there it is. Oh. Well, that was rude. Also, we should try this area. <laughs> I just straight up broke it. Yeah, you broke someone's tombstone. <laughs> you 
You should feel ashamed. I do not remember that. All right. Okay. Um, what, is, what does up on the D-pad do for you? It keeps telling. It has that on your screen for some reason. Is it? What? Up on the D-pad, you see it? I'm pressing it. Where does it say up on the D-pad? Bottom left corner. Next to the stone cell sword icon. Mine's, that's his left. Oh, yeah, up arrow. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Down the D-pad is how we light torches, but those are limited. Oh. And we can see fine right now, kind of. Ah. Uh, let's get uh, some sweet levels. Level up. You can hit X to get more levels at once without having to manually say yes over and oh over again. Oh my god, it's great. Isn't that right? Isn't that great? Yes. Trees! Oh, I see. You get the animation. <laughs> well, so now we have three black pearls we can spend on this tree. Oh, gross. Look at this. Yeah. Look well, this. one of them should go to my... Look at this monstrosity. Yes, I would like one more poultry pouch. What else we got? Strength? Strength? Those seem kind of nice. Willpower? Willpower determines your maximum stamina. Oh, that's kind of nice. Well, why don't I just... Wait, what's that? Two-handed? I don't care about that. Why don't we... Yes, and then... Yes. Look at that! There we go. I'm kind of trying to see if guns are on here or not. <laughs> That's oh. class three bows. Yo, gunsmith and shit? I'm thinking of guns. I think I remember there being guns in this game. There's the whips. Not really interested in those. It's just kind of what I started with. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any guns. Oh, here they are up here. There's another one. Class five crossbows. That's where I am. Wait a minute. Yeah, your tree just gets, keep going to the left. I guess crossbows and pistols are the same. Because here's a bow. I thought there was like shotguns or like blunderbuss weapons, but those might be counting along, along with pistols or something. Maybe. I don't remember. Ah, well. I'm going to go towards any poultice pouches I see above all else. What is that? What? We need will? Oh. Well, poultice pouches give you healing items. Well, no, your will So I'm, I'm going to try to stock up. If I can. Do it. Let's do two dexterity. There we go. Two dex, huh? Yep, two I dex. Just, I got strength and stamina. So you see how there's th there's dots on that thing? Yeah. Because you can actually, put, if you want to, you can keep putting points in in the same node. Oh. And you keep getting more of that stat. That's super nifty. Yeah. So if you haven't found another node of that stat, you can just keep investing it in the same node oh, if you want to. Oh, it costs one. Cool. Yeah, it, it costs the same amount, but it. it like, while well, it lets you allow to, uh, it allows you to keep stacking stuff into the same stat without having to find another node, but it also it also means you're not making progress on the tree towards anything. Eh. It's like it's, a... It's kind of it's, back and forth. But it's something that's there. Yeah. You can always just throw one point into yeah, it. it's and... just a feature you got access to. Also, it means that when you complete the entire tree, you can still level up even more. Oh, God. Yep. Yup. Yup. All right. Hey, Goth. Denounce the three and become an apostate. What? Join the Mountain Smiths. <laughs> I thought I'm already part of the Mountain Smiths. No, it's me. Oh, what are you a part I, of? I'm the three. You chose the three. Now I am an apostate. Oh. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Sup. I can't do offerings because I'm a sellsword. Oh, you picked a sellsword? No, I'm a sellsword. Oh. And that that's how I got in this game. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was like, why did you pick a sellsword? That's how you summoned me, is I'm a sellsword, so I can't do offerings. Uh, Only you can customize do I, do I need- should I do an offering? If you want to, you can add a merchant and uh, whatever the other thing was, a cleric. Yeah. Are we gonna be here often? Um, not particularly, but you can go around wherever you want. It's our- right now it's our only HQ that we've found. Okay. Well then, I'll probably get a merchant. Or the other guy's a merchant though. You have a blacksmith, a cleric, and a- and a- what is the other one? Uh, merchant. Merchant. Yeah. Cleric, blacksmith. So the other guy's not a merchant. Oh yeah, right. He's just the guy who summons. He, he summons me, and his only other ability is he can sell you the PvP item. Oh, hi! Wow, that's a lot of stuff you just set up in a second. Yeah, they're, qu they're, very, they're quick at it. You look very shifty. And they can all tell you stories. You can talk to them all. But they're selling. They're just here to talk. Uh, talk. I ended up here with a merchant ship I was on, wrecked somewhere in the Emria Sea. Emrian? Sure. Emrian? Um. Let's buy what, what what you get. Shockstone, a rare, dangerous stone, melded in the uh, mined in the mountains of Markdoer. 
It pulses with electric energy. Apply it to your weapon to add lightning damage to your attacks. So it's pine resin. Gross. You liked that, didn't you? The two times you use it? Yeah. Hey, he sells two. guns for your pistol. He doesn't sell a pistol, though, does he? No. If you hit right bumper, it goes to rings? Oh. Salt Seeker's ring. A metal ring uh, with what appears to be a vigilant eye strain through veins and nerves mounted onto it. Wait, it reveals what? the location of your missing salt, as, as in, like, when you die. Oh. It helps you find your body. That's cool. Lantern and lantern charm. charm illuminates your surroundings. That's super nice. That means you don't have to use a torch. But that's super expensive. Yes, it is. Well, not really. Well, I just need another This thousand. is the beginning of the game money. <laughs> wow. You have a lot more than I do. I do. You didn't a moment ago. No. When did you get that much money? The, the Killing the boss. Killing the boss gave me a lot of money. Dragon tooth. Gross. Uh, the throwing blade. A pouch of salt? Yeah, you can just buy experience. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's not very cool. much, but still, it's, if you really want it, there you go. Magical bell of faith and uh, d uh, devotion. It symbolizes the call of gods and spirits. Ring it to return to the sanctuary or shrine you most recently visited. That seems like a useful... I haven't found another weapon yet, so I just need to buy a bunch of bolts. Buy a bunch of bolts. Bunch, bunch of bolts. Torch. There we go. Shot. Dragon's tooth. Goodbye, all of my money. Pitch fire? <laughs> A painted pot of the sticky black stuff. When lit, it burns with a hellish ferocity. Apply it to your weapon. Add fire. Uh, okay. Well, that was... It was nice to meet you. Oh, what items do I have that I could sell to you? Not that. I have a katana. Oh, I also have a bell of return. And yeah. I have two pouches of salt. Oh, so, I have, I have something to teach you about how weapon sets work in this game, because it's weird. Yeah. You know how in the last game you'd press in in Dark Souls you press Y to two hand. Yes. You might have been led to believe that a left bumper is two hand. It's not two hand. That, left bumper is change weapon sets. But your same but your other weapon set that's equipped right now is your main weapon, but then in two hand mode. So open your inventory. Okay. And see, the left side is your mace and, sh and shield. The right side is your mace and then the two hand icon, which you can toggle with Y. Toggle one hour, two hour? One hand, two hand. Uh oh. So it's toggled into two hand mode, but it's the same mace. And that's how you, that's that's why left bumper makes you two hand right now. Oh, okay. But, you, but if you wanted to, you can make left hand be a different weapon instead. Oh, nifty. And that can be two hand or not two handed. So my hunter character starts off with a sword that's two handed. And then the other weapon set is a whip and a crossbow. That's super nice. That's my starting set. So that's what the difference there. The third slot, I believe, is a spell slot. So you can tie a spell to each of your two weapons, I think. Well, I, I have bags of salt. Should I use those? If you want to use your experience, yeah. And you, uh, you it, it helps to check how much you need to level up again. I need 700. I don't know if that bag of salt is going to be 700 experience. Well, I have two bags of salt. Ooh. Well, and I have 400. Only one way to know. Only one way to know. Here, I'll actually, let, I'll just test it. Since I matter less. 250. So I have... So you'll, two, you'll have enough to level. So I have 250 and then a tiny pouch. So I have a pouch and then a bundle. Oh, a bundle's even more. Wait, did I use a pouch or a bundle? I think you used a bundle. Oh. I don't know which one I used. Now I can't ever know. <laughs> Good gerb. Good gerb. Use. That was 250. Yeah, so it was a bundle. That was the bundle? Okay. Yeah. So the pouch is less, but you only need 40 more. Like, you just stomp on it. You put it on the ground and step on it. I mean, it's salt. What are and you gonna do? you just, like, breathe it in, I guess. Like, yeah. <sighs> By the way, you like how there's a progress bar? Oh, to... That's our experience progress bar under, under your oh, experience. Oh, really? To yeah. Time you can level See how mine's up. almost full? That's nice. So it actually tells you how close you are to leveling up and whether or not you have enough to level up right now without you having to check. That's super... There's a lot of little, little clever touches in this game. That's super duper nice. Oh, endurance. But, That's like, awesome. Where, where stuff like Lords of the Fallen just felt like a weird, shallow, like, imitation of, of a popular game, this game actually, like, innovates in a number of ways, which we just kind of dove into with the leveling system and this town system and even the salt meter and all these other things yeah and, and even co-op is like a different thing <laughs> just fundamentally different thing well ska's not a copy creator except for the part where he is <laughs> oh so we got to go through here again yeah that guy just that guy shot me through the platform oh. didn't think that would work that way i didn't think so either but he did it 
and he would know. Oh, good new bodies. That guy Yay. has a pumpkin head. He's got a pumpkin head. Look forward to finding that, maybe. <laughs> if you're really good, maybe you'll no, find it. No, I don't want to get rid of my nasty face. Your nasty face? Oh, Ow. you got shot. I was blocking. I want all the salt. <laughs> now you're just going and killing respawns. Oh, yeah, I probably should just keep moving. <laughs> Move along, move along. Okay. Hey, an item. Oh, yeah, I never, I never showed you what I look like. What do you mean? Because I told you I made the character look kind of <laughs> like me. <laughs> Got parted hair. Yeah. Rogue's mask? Wait, what? You have a rogue set? Apparently. So you got, I think you have it too. We probably looted it somewhere. That's my bestiality. It's your, your, the top, the four things on top oh, left right, corner. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Set. Looks like this. It's kind of it's kind of intimidating. Yeah, with a whip. Especially with your whip, yeah. Whip rogue. Now it kind of looks like you're doing some kind of BDSM thing. <laughs> Don't raise that bow. Okay. I so. am the skank of the night. Shit. Oh, I fell down. I fell down. Uh, so where are we trying to go now? <gasps> oh, no. We can't even get over there. What? Wait. That would just respond. Yep. Oh. Dude, we're bad at this. <laughs> Listen, you. <laughs> Listen. You need help there? Oh, there Listen. You go. Listen. It already went that way. Somewhere a door is unlocked. I'll believe it. I'm just letting you guide this experience as player one. I'm just, I'm just kind of along oh. for the ride to fight things. Here, I'll, I'll fight this. Wow, I that fucked me up. Should not have taken that hit. No. It's a new experience playing when the camera's following somebody else, mostly. Uh, wait, we've... Did we go this way? Yes. It's that right. dude. Ow, 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 ow. I can't ow. hit him when he's beating you. It's invulnerable to my, my whip. You missed it. You missed an execution chance. Dude, I want to get that thing down there. There's money. Oh! It's down there. We haven't gone down this way. No, we went up. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, we did go. Up. Thank you. The teleporting is so disorienting. <laughs> It, yeah, that does. I'm does. slowly going down a ladder and then I just oh, teleport to you. Hey. Look at that. You found thing. Oh, money. Or mend. mend. That's likely mend? a that's likely a holy spell. Oh, this is what the key was for. Hey, that's a guy. You, you want to get you want so he's. Uh, you can almost think of him as our Solaire or our uh, uh, Siegfried. Okay. You're, so you don't want to give him a name uh, voice you're used going to be used to using because we'll see him a lot. Uh, all right. What kind of voice to give him? <laughs> what kind anyway, of person is he? Just gonna you know who shit. this guy is? He's our he's our friendly companion type dude that shows up. That's on his own quest. So he's just a good guy in general. So class one prayer, you get a you can get a hell. It's a healing spell that reduces wounding too. Oh, we need a class one prayer. Might might be fitting for your paladin setup. Maybe. If you go down there. You have to find where it's hidden on the tree, though. <laughs> oh, delightful. Greetings, traveler. Do you have a quest? Uh, do I have a quest? No, I guess I don't really have a quest. I don't have a purpose. Your, in... your quest is to find the princess. Oh, yes, I do have a quest. So easily we forget. Rescuing a princess, hmm? <laughs> I haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Sure. Yay, we're going on a quest. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> My quest is an evade that ca to invade that castle in the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. <laughs> Castles must be invaded and dragons must be slain, mustn't they? Uh, we're going to go do that right now.